Begin stealth and silent running. I'll copy. Go flight. Go ahead. What's your ETA? Right. 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 in final position. Start to put this down. I'll copy. Go flight. Go ahead. This is your friend, TACCOM. Begin systems check. Out. Gentlemen, we have a well, this one is a real loser. Megaforce is one of the most confusing, pointless, and muddled thrillers I've seen in a long time. But the good guys always win, even in the 80s. The movie wants to be a little silly and action-filled, and the director doesn't have a fix on it. It's totally inapplicable to anything that's going on here. A real dumb movie, a vacuum had a complete and total waste of time. Is that the general consensus? With lots of explosions, lots of clouds of dust, Dozens of motorcycles lined up and roaring across the desert. The movie got me so involved that I was reduced to total and stunned apathy. Well, hello, I'm Barry Bostwick. I'm internationally recognized star of the stage and screen, and I don't know how they got me to come do this. Uh, certainly didn't pay me. And it's my suit. Uh, uh, Barry, I'm sorry. Uh, could you uh, stick to the script, please? For some reason, I'm here in this filthy, godforsaken desert 40 years after the fact to talk about a film that no one watched and fewer people... I'm here to talk about an iconic action film from 1982 that changed the face of cinema. It's a film called Blade Runner. Ah, uh, okay. What happened in the movie? <laughs> I thought I was going to say The Godfather for sure. He said Megaforce. Megaforce? I, I don't even know if Megaforce is two words or one word. I don't think I've ever seen it. Megaforce? Uh, well, I don't remember anything about the movie, so thank God you're here. Suddenly you said Megaforce, and I said, <laughs> why would you want to do that? Bam, 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 bam! Hey, y'all. This is Michael Beck. Now what are we doing? Oh, this is the part in the trailer where there'll be words that come over and it will say something like, one man trying to relive the 80s and the other trying to remember it. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you. Bob is, uh, Bob's a piece of work. He keeps on saying that he's going to do this documentary on Megaforce. And I think that he just wants to show me all of his toys. You're gonna see a real motorcycle from Megaforce. I'm amused by the Go! whole thing. Go! He's asked me these inane, stupid, damn questions. I don't remember a thing. I can't answer any of them. Are you gonna make me pose on the one motorcycle you've got and then make me say lines like, you know, you love them in red, you love them in blue? Commander Ace Hunter, I presume. You're saying, I presume? And, and, I, and I wonder sometimes about his sanity. He's got the beard going, he's got the gray hair, he's actually got dark hair. It's like having another son. Now what are you doing? I'm really, actually, really impressed with Bob. I mean, besides, besides the fact I wonder why he's doing it, uh, I, the thing is, he's doing it right. And he's doing it, you know, intelligently, and he's doing it based on uh, real research and real knowledge and, and, and a love for a movie that is loved by many people. Well, 38, 39 people. I think he wants to be in Megan. Even in the 80s, uh, you, you, uh, what is this? Uh, something, I don't remember.